But in, favoured comes up, Count Venetian. Been well supported again now, Count Venetian. No money for Big Talker, he's out a little. Triumph just a fraction easy. Triumph comes in, three to move up. So this is the race that Tony Basil has penciled in for Count Venetian. Didn't have much luck at Mooney Valley last hour. He got tightened up just after turning for home last Saturday week. With Count Venetian the clear favourite. Big talker comes up. Now Amaral Bar moving in and Kingston Way, the last one to come up for the cup. Very solid now, Count Venetian. So, oops, there's one through flying the flag. Very important uh, pickup ride for Brent Stanley, Count Venetian. Now Emma Elbar goes in and Kingston way to move up, flying the flag some 30 or 40 metres down in front of the stalls here. Seymour race tomorrow here in Victoria provincially. Eight races and on Monday it is Swan Hill. Been up there for a while, the Swan Hill race on uh, Monday next. Ballarat Tuesday. Now flying the flag, coming back behind the barrier. One of the rank outsiders at three figure odds flying the flag. Previous race won by Mervac, who was well and truly overs. Paid uh, 20 odd dollars but started at 33 to 1. Good odds for a last start winner. Now flying the flag moving up again. Now flying the flag coming in. And they're set for a start now for the John Deere to rank up. Ready. The 10 in with Baron of Loxley who's uh, trying to lay in against the side of the stores. It jumped OK as the field away quickly. Flying the flag has gone away smartly with Triumph and Mysari and deep out Amar Elbar looking for the lead. So the pace is going to be on for young and old here as they leave the straight. Amar Elbar flying the flag, Mysari. Wisely, Triumph eases back out of that action from Baron of Loxley. One off the rails, Count Venetian. Then Silent Spirit out three deep around Dry Show. Back along the rails, exciting ranch with Big Talk, a Broadway ballad. On the outside of Neckaway Cargo Limit, two to Kingston Way and two and a half to Welmer's Day. Amarolbar got the lead as they worked to the 1600 by two and a half length. Second is Mizari. Over on the outside, flying the flag. They're five or six in front of the Triumph. A length and a half to Count Venetian on the outside of Baron of Loxley. Three or four, Sign and Spirit. Gee, they're strung out over a lot of territory. Two to Dry Show, two and a half to Big Talker. Five lengths to Exciting Ranch and Cargo Limit. Then Broadway, Ballard, Kingston Way. And two and a half to Welmer's Day, who's got to be 20 lengths off the leader at the 1200 and that leader is Amar Elbar setting a sizzling pace six in front of flying the flag in third placing Mizari three away to Triumph a length and a half Baron of Loxley a half length handy is Count Venetian one to Silent Spirit two lengths then to Dry Show about three to Big Talker another three lengths away comes Exciting Ranch with Cargo Limit Broadway Ballad Kingston Way and Elmer's Day is last as Amar Elbar heads down the side 800 metres out still four or five lengths in front of Mizari third is flying the flag feeling the pin hooking around it Triumph Baron of Loxley goes up on the rails and tacking onto Triumph there was Count Venetian as they come to the turn three to dry show running on Big Talk has got a bit of work to do but he is starting to run on now followed by Silent Spirit gone then Cargo Limit Elmer's Day and Exciting Ranch as they come around the turn Triumph took over from Amar Elbow who's gone immediately grabbed by Count Venetian Big Talk is sweeping down the outside going to third and then dry show followed by Cargo Limit running on resolutely and then Elmer's Day Count Venetian heading to the 200 metre mark just in front but Big Talker on the outside and Triumph sticking back on the rails clear of Dry Show the three favourites have come away here Count Venetian in the centre, Big Talker on the outside and Triumph, Count Venetian in front, Big Talker trying to get to him, he's lifting the top weight and he's got in I think he's just won Count Venetian over Big Talker, third Triumph then Dry Show, Cargo Limit, followed by Elmer's Day, Kingston Way, Exciting Ranch, Baron of Loxley, Broadway, Ballad, Silent Spirit, Flying the Flag, Mizari, and Amaral Bar last in. Great finish there to uh, the Tarang Cup, and a 1, 7 and 4, it looks like it might be. We'll uh, get the result shortly, as at Cranbourne they've helped for Triumph at $2, Quinella, seven eighty, the trifecta of 1, 7 and 4, 25, 40, and the 714 trifecta, $30.80 after race five at Tarang. At Bow Desert. Racing.
And they came away in a good line too. Full Pelt and Alimony, two of the smartest out. Bravest Man jumped nicely and so did Gallic Storm and going very quickly as he's a good bloke to lead. And not far back now is Prevailing Knight. They race inside the 200 and he's a good bloke, the leader from Full Pelt and then comes Alimony, Bravest Man, Gallic Storm. Odd Socks and Prevailing Knight are very wide. Then Glow on the Dark, Prince of Justice, Cossack Raider. Followed by Royal Door, two shine over, one battle wise, then in and away. Optima is second last and like a squire the 11 year old gelding at the rear out of the straight 1400 to go and he's a good bloke the leader three quarters gallic storm bravest man around full pelt and two and a half to alimony then glow on the dark and odd socks one further back is prevailing night similar margin to prince of justice then cossack raider royal door on the inside three shine over in and away two lengths to battle wise parked on the inside of optima and five lengths to like a squire a thousand out as they go past the halfway and he's a good bloke making play Three quarters to a half Gallic Storm, two and a half to Full Pelt, and then comes Bravest Man, three lengths to Odd Socks and Alimony, followed by Prevailing Knight. Glow on the dark on the rails. Midfield next is Old Prince of Justice from Royal Door. Another couple away to Cossack Raider, shine over in and away battle wise. Optima is second last, and the veteran at 11, Like a Squire, brings up the rear. On the side, 600 metres left to go. And he's a good bloke on the inside, is just the leader from Gallic Storm. Three lengths to Full Pelt, followed by Alimony the odd socks optima it's whipping right around the outside of the field from prince of justice and then glow in the dark as they bunch up from prevailing night battle wise has got four behind him as they straighten up he's a good bloke claimed immediately by optima and optima at the 200 draws a length on gallic storm alimony old prince of justice running a race and so too shine over optima the leader prince of justice and battle wise getting a split prince of justice and shine over from battle wise prince of justice still in front and the old bloke's going to win the cup again. Prince of Justice beats Shine Over and Battle Wise. What a remarkable old horse he is, Prince of Justice. Then Optima in fourth spot from Alimony, Royal Door, Gallic Storm, Cossack Raider, Glow in the Dark. He... OK, Prince of Justice, the winner of the Bathurst Cup and a great performance too. 21.57.10 over 7 Shine Over, 6.10 and 5 Battle Wise at 2.30 after the running of the Bathurst Cup. Now they're moving in at Cranbourne for the running of this uh, eighth event and uh, the favourite...